Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2021.5 Volkswagen Atlas SE with Tech R-Line. This particular one is tourmaline blue on the exterior. It features black leather red interior. Also it has uh, black roof rails. It has a panoramic sunroof option. This is one of my favorite colors. Also features LED headlights, LED all-weather lights, LED running lights, piano black and chrome finish on the uh, air intakes on the grill. Keyless entry on four doors, 20-inch Trenton alloy wheels in the dark anthracite color. Nice bold line from the headlights over the wheel arches, under the door handles, and into the rear wheel arch. R-Line badge right there. And then also down here, body color paint below the chrome line. On the back here, body color paint below the chrome line on the bumper as well. The fold exhaust tips on the back there, they're chrome. They're quad exhaust tips. Also, you have that oversized reflector. Look at how this blue sparkles in the sunlight. This color is gorgeous and it looks black at dusk. And uh, it, it's just an awesome, awesome color. Uh, let's take a look inside. Here's a look at those black leatherette seats right here with that nice bold white stitching there. Also you have lumbar support here, your forward and back, and also adjustable seat back here. Uh, one thing before I climb in here, I'm going to go around the other side. I want to show you the driver's side seat because this is something that I don't normally show you. However, it's a manual seat on an SE with technology. So this seat, you adjust the seat back with that manual. You cannot raise or lower this seat unless you go with the uh, six-way adjustable manual seat upgrade. There's actually now an upgrade for this that they didn't have before. Uh, it does slide forward and back, but it is just a manual adjust there. So come back around here. There's a look at those wheels again. The nice air intakes on the base here. As we climb back in here, nice look at the seat here. The white stitching goes up behind the neck. Up here and in the headrest as well. There's an adjustable headrest right here. And as we climb in here, power door locks as usual. You do also have one touch up, one touch down on all the windows. That's standard on every Volkswagen. One touch up, one touch down. Then you have the uh, power or the window lock right here, so you can lock that guy out. Uh, heated mirrors and then also uh, power mirrors. You do have a power assisted lift gate here, so I can lift up on this guy right here and open that lift gate. You can also lift up and hold that button and close that same lift gate. So if you're doing contactless pickup or something like that, you've got that ability there. Also in this car, chrome finish up here and across the dash into the door over there on that side. Being that this is an R, this is an R line, instead of wood grain over here, you're gonna have a carbon fiber pattern right here that goes across into the dash over here and then over into that door over there. You do also have this upgraded panel here now. This is uh, the premium stitching, the bold white stitching with a quartzite insert in the door panel here. Quartzite there, quartzite here on the, the armrest, and then the black plastic up here. This is new for 2021 and a half. Also, automatic headlights with all weather lights. And uh, you just pull out on that to turn on the all weather lights. You do also have the cornering function there with the lights. And then you have a coin box for storage here. An adjustable steering wheel you can pull out push in raise it lower it lock it wherever you want it piano black finish right here with the r-line badge right there in the base and then you do have this flat silver finish on the spokes of the steering wheel the volkswagen new logo there so far it's only been in the atlas and the atlas cross sport nothing else has gotten that yet but you do have a leather wrap flat bottom steering wheel with a sport grip with the r-line right here and over here you do have stainless steel pedal caps down there as well um, I really dig those and then uh, you have a combination of an LCD screen and a analog tachometer and a speedometer right here so you have a combination of both and this is customizable where I can change it to assist systems um, I can turn on my ACC and I can set my following distance using this button right here so we've got that um, and then my assist systems I have adaptive cruise control, regular cruise control, side assist, which is an upgrade from blind spot monitoring. So it's gonna detect 
uh, approaching traffic, not, along, not just traffic in your blind spot, rear traffic alert, and then front assist. All of those things are standard on this car here. Up here on the dash, it's still that nice flat dash with the storage bin right here. On the radio, we have upgraded now to an MIB3 radio. Still two knobs here, glass screen here, it's touch. Now I can actually wake it up. When you see that hand right there, that's telling you that the gesture controls are awake. So I can wave my hand in front of this and change my presets. Now I do also have a fantastic backup camera here with trajectory steering. Turn that wheel left or right. It adjusts accordingly there to the steering. The yellow line moves accordingly. Then there's the green line and then that red line. Also, I do have App Connect. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or Mirror Link. I used to say using these two USBs down here. These are USB-Cs. They are now an upgrade. They're higher speed data transfer, uh, allegedly. And they're also backlit. So when you go to plug in at night, you can still see where they go. Gone is the auxiliary port that used to be right there. And then you have a 12 volt charger port there and wireless charging here. So back to App Connect here. Your phone, your Apple phone or your Android phone can do CarPlay or Android Auto from your pocket. You don't have to have it plugged in to do that anymore. That's a nice feature. Also, over here in the glove box, bye bye, bye Felicia, sayonara, hasta la vista, hasta la pasta. The CD player is gone. SD card readers or, or SD card holders are here, but there is no SD card reader now. These seat belt clips here are designed to protect your seat belts when using car seats. Uh, there's your manuals right there. This one does have the home link mirror with three door garage door memory down here at the base. There's three buttons there and that digital compass right there. You do also have a vanity mirror with an LED light above on each one on each side here. Very nice. And then you do have Carnet. Carnet's going to be free for five years with this car. Three years of roadside assistance for free using that wrench button right there, information services right there, and emergency services right there. There's a look at the giant panoramic sunroof with a power sunshade. That sunroof does open up, pop-up windscreen right here. This panel does open up and retract almost fully. It stacks on top of that other pane of glass, nice, right there. And then that second pane of glass stays put. It does not move back. There's a look at those leatherette seats again. They are heated up front. Dual zone climate zone up here. What's changed? This menu button here, this display right here. It only displays half the vehicle. The front two seats first, then you can switch to the rear and get the rear four seats. I'm gonna close this sunroof because it's giving me some glare there. So these are the rear seats. I can adjust the temperature accordingly. I can also lock out. And then also we have air care. Air care to activate, just push that active button there. Now this is gonna actually scrub the air and filter out any allergens or pollutants like cigarette smoke, things in the air, conk smells, anything of that nature before it circulates in the cabin. Very nice. Okay, while we got this uh, sunroof open here, I'm gonna take a look at the back seat. Oh, one thing I did fail to mention here, this armrest, it's the same. There's another USB-C connection inside there. Lots of storage in there as well. Let's take a look at the back seats here. This one comes in at 45,200. Extras include the $1,200 power tilting panoramic sunroof, $550 for a tow package, that's your tow hitch at the back. Also, auto dimming mirror for 325 and monster cargo mat, or, uh, uh, monster mats for captain's chair at 285. I'm sorry, for a bench, I said that wrong. Not captain's chairs, because this is definitely a bench setup. As we climb in the back here, with this being a bench setup, you're gonna have three sets of car seats that you can put in here. Front facing car seats uh, or rear facing car seats. Uh, with rear facing car seats, these seats are designed to tilt forward without you having to remove the car seat. Very nice that it does that. So you have access to the third row, third row seats without having to take out a car seat saving you time when you're loading up two latch hookups there two latch hookups here and two more over here fold down armrest here with a cup holder in there squishy but firm this is how you know you got a new car down here is your climate control 
two USB C's right here and a three prong plug in right there so you can plug in a laptop or whatever and have that charging while you're traveling. Here's a look through from the back to the front, center console, instrument cluster. Look up at that giant panoramic sunroof. Giant. Let's look at that mirror. Also rain sensing wipers in this car. I don't ever mention that, but you do have those. You do also have a sunshade right here. It's built into each door over there and also over here. You also have that gray quartzite right here on the door insets and on the door arms right here. So let's take a look at the back here. This is our power assisted lift gate. There's a look at your tow hitch and your apparatus there. You'll still need a seven pin adapter there, but you have everything you need otherwise. Here's a look through from the back to the front. This is a true seven seater. This is a bench setup right here. These seats will fold flat. So you have that space there. This one comes with cargo blocks, the monster mats, and then uh, the cargo containment system. There's seat belt clips over here on the side and also a 12 volt charger port here. Here's your license plate for the front, the bracket. We don't install that unless uh, you request it because uh, we get a lot of out of state buyers that don't want those or they're not required. But there's a look through from the back to the front. There's a look at your um, C pillar vents as well. And these seats just pull back up with this little strap right here. And right here. And there's a look at the back there at power assisted lift gate. Just push the button right there. Such a nice looking car. Look at those LED tail lights. This car comes with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. That's four years, 50,000 miles. Two years of free maintenance are included in that. Your 10 and 20,000 mile oil change are covered uh, by Volkswagen. Then if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's here in St. Louis, you're going to get a third year of free maintenance as well. So your 10, 20, and 30,000 mile oil changes are covered. Now that 30,000 mile oil change is a local deal only, so you have to redeem that at our local dealership. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, you're going to get a 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10 years, 200,000 miles nationwide engine and powertrain warranty. So if you're interested in this car or any other car, please give me a call 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.